All right, we're going to do a little exponential growth and decay using Excel in this video. So our problem is I start an account with $2,000 that grows 6% a year, and I have an account with $15,000 that declines by 10% a year. When will the new account overtake the old account? So we're looking at uh, one account that's growing, one that's decreasing, and trying to find that overlap. So the first thing I need is I need some years. So I'm just going to start with a couple. And remember, if I show a pattern here, so I highlighted all three of these, using that green square in the bottom corner, I can just click and drag, and that'll just continue the pattern. So these will represent years. Let me go ahead and just type that in here. Now I've got my new account, and I have my old account. So in my new account, recall that I'm going to, I'm in Excel, so it's calculate. I can start with the equal sign. I'm going to start with my initial value of 2,000. Remember in our exponential formulas, I take my initial amount and I'm going to multiply by my growth factor. My growth factor is 1 plus the percent increase, which is 6%. We are going to raise that to the time. And the time is the number of years. Now I'm going to use the cell reference because if I use a cell reference, I can then go to my green square with my black plus sign double click and it will autofill using um, the cell reference there. Oh, there I did it. Okay, now my old formula or my old account is exponential decay. Now that starts the same way, 15,000, but now I'm going to multiply by the decay factor. So I'm going to take 1 minus 10%, raise that, right, that's shift six gives me the caret to the time. Again, I click on my cell that I have my cell reference used in, double click on that green box, and now I have my values for the next 22 years. So I can look down and say, okay, it's not there, no, 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 here it is. After 13 years, the new account, so the answer is, 13 years is when the new account will overtake the value of the old account. And that's an example of how we can use uh, exponential growth of decay in Excel.